Today, we're going to talk about a different way for you to change the settings or update your uh, Scorpion Tribunus ESC. Uh, traditionally, most people, they do it via their uh, V-Control radio, or if you don't have a V-Control radio, you can also do it through the um, Sproto app on your uh, laptop. But there is a third way to do it, and uh, Scorpion has a Tribunus ESC app available on Android. So if you have an Android phone or an Android tablet, which we have here, you can download the app from the Google Play Store, and you would search for Tribunus ESC, and then you have the app available here. Oops. You have the app available here, uh, Tribunus ESC Configurator, but by Scorpion Power Systems LTD. But I already have the app installed, so we're going to go ahead and go to the app, and uh, I will show you what it looks like. So back on the home screen here, we open up the Tribunus ESC app, and it looks similar to the uh, desktop app or the laptop app that you have available on your uh, computer, on your PC, but there are um, some differences here. It is a little bit different here. You've got uh, over here in the upper left corner, you've got your different um, settings for main, heli, plane, protection, and config. Um, but before you connect the uh, ESC to the Android uh, tablet or uh, cell phone, you'll need to have the Scorpion V-Link 2 cable. So the V-Link 2 cable is a, a separate purchase. You'll have to buy that. And then you'll also need the uh, diode cable, which plugs into the V-Link cable. This allows you to connect the uh, Scorpion V-Link 2 cable to the ESC. Now you also notice that this uh, is a standard USB port and you can't quite plug that into there. So you'll also will need a USB to go cable. And I happen to have one of those. <laughs> right about here. So this is a, a USB to go cable, which has a USB female connector on one end and a mini USB male connector on the other end. So then you can plug your V-Link 2 cable into here, and that'll allow you to plug the V-Link 2 cable into the USB port on your Android device. So uh, let's do a little magic here and uh, switch things up, and I will show you how to connect the Android device to the Scorpion ESC. Okay. Now we're back. I've got my helicopter over here to the left with my Tribunus and my battery pack ready to go. And I've got the Tribunus uh, diode cable plugged into the PC port of the Tribunus over here with it going down to my V-Link 2 cable. And I will show you in just a second here so before we plug the V-Link 2 cable into the USB to go cable, which goes into the Android device, we will power on our helicopter. I'll plug in the main pack. Okay, that's the sound showing that the Tribunus has initialized and it's ready to go. And you can see on the screen here, it says device undefined. Bootloader zero, firmware zero, is not seeing the Tribunus yet. So now I'm going to plug in the V-Link 2 cable into this USB to go cable. Okay, we have a light on the V-Link 2 cable. And now you can see it shows a Tribunus ESC 12S 130 amp. It shows bootloader 11, firmware version 60. It even gives you the serial number of the ESC. It also gives you uh, statistics here for your pack voltage, uh, the uh, 
BEC voltage, uh, CPU temp, MOSFET temp. But we, what we want to see is we want to click right here and we want to go to main. And then this shows us uh, basically the same settings that you would see if you were in the um, desktop or computer app for the Tribunus uh, software to set up your Tribunus. Uh, you've got your Tribunus device name, uh, device mode. I'm in PID with pre-stored value. My BEC voltage is 7.3. Uh, rotation direction is clockwise and communication protocol is set to Jetty EX bus. Um, but I'll show you here, you can quickly go to Heli, and then this shows you all your settings you have available for your uh, Heli. You've got soft start, acceleration, bailout acceleration, PID mode, your PID gains, uh, smooth eye gain correction. You can go to plane, um, they got drag bake, brake acceleration, PWM mode, and you've got protection. Uh, this is probably the best uh, configuration settings here. We got uh, sound configuration is enabled, uh, gear ratio, pole pairs, current sensitivity gain, RPM correction. Oh, sorry, I, cl I clicked on config. I want protection. There we go. So under protection, we have cutoff delay, uh, minimum voltage, maximum temperature, uh, maximum current, 160 amps, cutoff power. And so this menu is very, very good because any of these settings here that you set, um, if the uh, helicopter reaches its minimum voltage of 10 volts, which is awfully low, but um, you can set your cutoff voltage so that when the voltage reaches a certain point, it will slowly cut off um, and lower the head speed of the helicopter, letting you know it's time to come down and land. Or if you reach a maximum current, uh, 160 amps, you go over 160 amps, it'll slowly spool down the helicopter, allowing you to come down and land. Um, you can set your cutoff power to 50%, so it'll reduce the head speed down to 50%, giving you enough, just enough head speed to safely land your helicopter, which are all the same settings that are available in the uh, PC app. Um, then you have logs and charts down here too. Uh, you also have over here in the upper right corner the ability to uh, export settings, import settings, update firmware. So currently right now I'm on version 60, which I believe is the, the current version, but uh, previous versions are available here. And just to show you, I'm going to go back to Heli. Um, no, I want to go back to Main. So BEC voltage is set to 7.3 amps. I mean, sorry, 7.3 volts. You can click on that and you can change that to whichever one of these settings you want to change it to and then you click apply. And then, so let's go ahead and change that to 8.3 volts. Click apply. And then click the up arrow, it says updating device, device resetting hear this tribuna startup sound and now my BC voltage is back to eight is set to 8.3 volts so I'm gonna change it back to what I want it to be set to 7.3 volts I'm gonna click apply I'm gonna click the update arrow it's updating resetting the device you can hear it reboot and now you can see my setting for my BEC voltage is set to 7.3 volts. So this is just a different way for you to change your settings and update your settings on your Tribunus ESC. If you don't have uh, V-Control, you can use an Android device and you can use the Tribunus 2 ESC app on uh, Android and from the Google Play Store. So if you get a chance, uh, download it and check it out and uh, have fun.